What's up, people? This is your guy, Crypto. Today, we are going to be talking about... Most of the times, we receive some links about different articles, about different stuff, different stories. Lately, I've been receiving some links like um, get 50 gigabytes internet for five months or one month, all of that. And some others, you see things like Nike is offering shoes and like click on the link below to be like eligible. You see another one that the Canadian uh, immigration office is sending a link, visas, all of that. 99.9% .9 of these links are hacks. There are scams. And we are going to be demonstrating it today. Let's start with, uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll be talking about some links and some people don't know what I'm talking about. These links are made up of spywares, they're made up of keyloggers, they're made up of viruses, they're made up of worms. What am I talking about? What is a spyware? A spyware is just an application that runs in the background of your phone or your computer and it sees everything you do. Whatever thing you do, you take a picture with your phone, the person sees it. You are going to be demonstrating this thing all today. You click on the link, you don't know what happened, your phone starts misbehaving. We install key loggers in your phone. You see key loggers, whatsoever thing you type, be it your mobile money code or everything, these guys are seeing it. How do they see that? Just because you clicked on a link. We also have what is known as identity theft. Identity theft, believe me, that's the most dangerous. Once someone is in possession of your phone, like remotely, he can use your phone like you and cause trouble. Someone can use your phone and make a call and believe me, you're going to jail because of your negligence. Now let's get our hands clean because I'm about to get you out of a deep mess. Okay, now let's analyze this message. Get 50 gigabytes free, you know, data mongers. So when you see something like that, you just feel like clicking on it but you are digging your own grave. If you have your personal bank details in your phone, you click on that kind of link, believe me, you are gone. If you have some emails, personal emails, work emails, it can get hacked just by the click of a link. Okay, now, I'll do a live presentation. I will send this link into a different phone and I will click on the link, then you will see the reaction. You will see how these guys manipulate our phones. I just sent the link to this phone, and this is the deadly link here. You see the XSGL. If you receive a message for free data, be it from Orange, MTN, Nextel, Camtel, whatsoever, the link should be from Camtel or Nextel or Orange or whatsoever. So now I click on the link, start by asking some questions so now you, see, you actually see it looks like it's real but the link here is wrong it should be something related to our mobile phone operators so they ask you how many days would you like to use free internet you see 30 days you see 60 days okay just here like right now like here this phone is already hacked you don't even need to continue I will give you the proofs So now, this is the phone that just got hacked. This, this phone just got hacked. And as you can see, the battery percent here is 74%. And on the screen is 74%. So this is actually the phone on my screen. So I can have this live location right now, which is going to be blurred. Okay. I have a live location here and uh, all right this is what this guy can do with your phone you can check your sms mms your calls your location your pictures your apps your calendar all of this you can take screenshot instant message instant messaging um i mean your whatsapp your facebook everything so just do some live demo you know at times it is good to demo a trade so you can spark a solution so this is a thread, so a solution can be sparked. We take this uh, remote control. With the remote control here, we will... 
With the remote control, we will be able to do a lot of stuff. We'll get the person's location. We'll take a picture. Like, we we'll take a picture with either the front camera or the rear camera that is the back camera. We could even use a flash. This one is scary. Like, you're holding your phone, all of a sudden you just see a flash. You could record the conversation. Like, he dropped his phone, maybe by the on the table, he's talking with someone, you record it and you could take maybe for one to 20 minutes if you want to record. Okay, now we could equally make the phone ring, of which I'll just, I'll just do that. Um, this is just an alert. At times you may want to take somebody's picture and the person is not holding the phone. So you could just cause the phone to ring. Once the phone rings, he will pick up his phone, then you can take the picture. Like, now the phone is going to ring. It's like an alarm. <laughs> Did you hear that? So it's an alert for you to pick up your phone. So when you pick up your phone, I take a picture of yourself. Do you know what that means? That was a violation of private life. Okay, it goes to an extent of uh, formatting the phone. I could as well format the phone. I can retrieve the contact list. I can enable or disable the Wi-Fi. I can take screenshots. I can enable or disable the camera, of which I will try that again here. Okay, now let's take for instance, um, this is the camera. Okay, this, this is the camera actually working. So this is the camera actually working very well. You can see that the camera is good. Uh, okay, now, after I click here, disable camera. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. This is my camera. I click on the camera. Security policy restricts use of camera. You click again. You want to show up, you see security policy restricts use of camera. So what happened? Your camera is blocked. By who? You don't know. So this is how these guys can operate. I mean, they can make life miserable for you. You come back, enable camera. Click on enable the camera and it works like charm, you know. Okay, let's go back to the camera. You click on the camera. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> just like magic. This is what these guys can do with your phone. This is just one of the thousands of things they can do with your phone. They can equally get your keylogger. So, what's a keylogger? So, whatsoever thing you type on your phone, these guys have it. In case I call this number, one, two, three, four, and I send the call. Okay. Actually, the phone is not registered on the network. There is no SIM card on the phone. So, what you do is you just come to calls 234. It's actually here. And they give you the address where <laughs> the call was made. You understand? So, now, that's what I was talking about. This is so dangerous. If I do star 155 or star 126 for my mobile money, it is going to show. Wow. I guess you just saw that. This is cyber crime. This is dangerous. This is bad. We heard Donald Trump talk about hacking, Vladimir Putin, all of that. Cyber security. We all need to be careful whenever we are on the internet. What kind of links do you click on? Do you just see something that's attractive and you click on it? No. You need to be careful. You need to censor the material we watch online even through a picture you can get hacked that's what's called steganography this is what we had for you today if you enjoyed our content of course you did so just click on the subscribe button and if you have anything you want us to talk about if you want you have like any question you want me to address or you want my team and I to address just drop it in the comment box and we'll get back to you thank you I've been your guy. Click through.